We are here in ASCO with so many new and important information in the treatment of gynecological cancer. The final overall survival result of Keynote A18 confirmed significant benefit of Pembro in combination with chemoradiation and this is now the new standard of care. Hello everyone, this is uh, Domenica Lurusso. I am a professor of obstetrics and gynecology at Humanitas University of Milan. They were presented this morning the results, the final overall survival results of Keynote A18, the trial that combined pembrolizumab with concurrent chemoradiation in locally advanced high risk cervical cancer. The trial has already reported a significant increase in progression-free survival with Pembro combined with chemoradiation and maintained for two years and maintenance therapy. Then a significant overall survival was reported with an acceleration of 0.67, 33% reduction in the risk of death. And this morning, the final overall survival data confirmed the benefit, significant benefit of Pembro in combination with chemoradiation, and this is now the new standard of care. This morning, we saw the results of Rossella trial, a trial combining a glucocorticoid receptor inhibitor, relacorilant, with NAB paclitaxel in a very difficult setting of platinum-resistant ovarian cancer. It was a randomized stage 3 trial, relacorilant plus NAB paclitaxel versus NAB paclitaxel alone. The trial reported a significant increase in progression for survival and the trend toward an increase in overall survival, which is not yet mature, only 50% maturity, but the curves start separating very well. And this is a very important new opportunity for our patients. This morning, we saw also the results of the first trial evaluating the combination of chemotherapy, platinum-based chemotherapy, plus immunotherapy, plus bevacizumab, plus immunotherapy, in, with respect to chemo, plus BEV, plus PARP, in a population of advanced ovarian cancer, stage 3 and 4 disease, frontline treatment. The trial is statistically significant, but unfortunately, the increase in progression for survival is only one month and it is not clinically relevant. In addition, no signals in terms of benefit in overall survival. I don't think we can consider this as a new standard of care and it is a really a pity because this is another negative trial with immunotherapy in ovarian cancer. My clear impression is that there are some patients that can get benefit from immunotherapy, but unfortunately we are not yet able to identify this patient. And this is the reason why the benefit is so diluted in the overall population to be not clinically relevant. And lastly, we saw the results of the TRUST trial, a trial that we were waiting since six years, a trial comparing a primary debulking surgery versus new adjuvant chemotherapy followed by interval debulking surgery in stage three and four ovarian cancer. This is an old question. All the data until now did not report a clear benefit for primary surgery but all these data were impacted and biased by the low quality of surgery that was proposed. This trial was important because the center that joined the trial were selected for their ability in surgery. So in the best surgical center, unfortunately, primary surgery did not meet its primary endpoint and a no significant increase in overall survival was reported for primary surgery with respect to new adjuvant chemotherapy plus interval debulking surgery. There are some patients, stage three patients with residual tumor zero that have a larger benefit in progression for survival, but unfortunately, no signal in overall survival. What is the great message? Primary surgery remains important, 
but we have to better select the patient to offer primary surgery. For all the other, new adjuvant chemotherapy is a really good opportunity.